you know how to connect APIs with Tableau? Why we should connect Tableau with APIs? Why it is necessary? If you have ever wondered how to get your Tableau dashboards to store live data from other applications, then this video is for you. So first thing first, what is an API? Think of it like a bridge. It's a way for different software to communicate with each other. So for example, if you have data in one app and you want to use it in another, then API helps you to do that. Now, why is connecting API to Tableau is important? By linking APIs, you can pull in live data for advanced calculations and even use machine learning modules. This makes your Tableau dashboard much more powerful and up to date. Tap my server helps Tableau to talk to Python, which in turn can interact with APIs. It's like giving your dashboards a new set of skills. So if you're ready to take your dashboard to the next level, let's dive in and see how to set it up. Make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so that you don't miss any of our future videos. All right, guys. So this is how API structure will look like where in the middle the API is okay you can see on the screen we have API in the middle and we have web server which is going to cater our request and the final endpoint will be your database where your query will be executed and your result will be sent via web application server through API and then API will send it on the internet on the cloud so whether your device is mobile or computer you will receive the response on that particular device now what is api api is application programming interface okay we are going to see some technical part of it but not everything what is exactly api and how it works we are going to see a little bit gist of it and we are going to cover it in the coming tutorials i don't i don't want to make this video long so that is why we are keeping it crisp and clear about what exactly and how we can connect tableau with api using type by server so let's get started and let's see how your response of api will look like so basically it's a response when you get uh, when you send a request in the form of api there are three formats in which you that is get put and post these are the three formats which are available okay then the response comes something like key value pair Again, it's a technical word which is going to be a dictionary format where you have a key and a value and it will be a file. The file format for it would be JSON. Now how it looks, it is enclosed into the curly brackets which something look like this. Okay, where you have opening curly bracket and closing curly bracket and inside you have a key and a value so this is the first value this is the second value and this is whole is the third value enclosed into the curly bracket don't worry we are going to see all these technical aspects and we are going to deep dive into it into coming videos if you have not already please make sure to subscribe so that you stay connected with us and you get posting about the api connection with tableau what is and how to connect tableau with api for data analysis so the first thing first to start your tabpy server to take port details you can watch a video which is available on the i description box you can click on that and you can get the information what is tabpy server we have seen that into the previous session okay then we will connect tabpy server with tableau i'll just show you quickly and then we will see open jupyter notebook so you we will be opening a jupyter notebook we will be uh, validating the api response on it okay so this is how you are going to do all right so we are on the jupyter notebook we are going to import a library which is used for api communication that is import and we'll say requests so this is the library which is these this is the library which is available for getting the information about the api now what we are going to do quests dot get now as i mentioned we have three types of request get put post so here we will be putting the request and we are storing it into a variable so for this i'll say response is my variable so now here we will be putting a url copy and paste that url okay this is the url which we are going to hit where we are going to get the race uh, it's a rest type of api rest countries.com slash v3 slash so this is my country name which is going to be a dynamic one but as of now we are keeping it as static now see this what i have written this is the import part then request dot get okay then i am storing the response into my response now once i print the response you can see i will be getting a 200 as a response that means my api is working 
fine when you are dealing with apis 200 is the most important response you need to get so response is 200 now we'll be moving ahead if i want to get what exactly i have received so for that i'll be writing json as i mentioned it's a file format of the json so if i write json it is going to give me the response what exactly i have received you see these all details i have received and you can see it is into a json file format if i want to get these details i don't want everything i just want these details that currencies what are the currencies available in my country so i'll store it into response now i will be creating another variable country underscore info is equals to response zero now if i say country underscore info and over here i'll say square bracket and i'll paste the currencies i i just want currencies so i should get usd name united state this information basically i should get from this okay so what i have done over here we'll we'll talk about it and you can see the success response is correct we got whatever we wanted so out of all the details what we did we wanted only currency so i have given the value that is as currency and inside the response i wanted to store that particular thing so i have given that now if tomorrow if i don't want this okay and if i just want to get the other details so i will say i'll comment out this part also and we'll see one more example that is as response okay i'll execute it and if i want to get the independent independent value what is the independent value so over here i'll say independent and rest everything i'll keep as same and it will independent country info okay and over here it will give me as false okay so this is how you can get the values and you can play with the information which is available to you into the json file format now we are going to connect to tab by server how we are going to do that so we will open anaconda we'll go to cmd.exe we'll click on launch once it is launched now you will type tab by server and once you hit enter it will execute this and it will give you the port details okay what is the port available and what is the information so most of the time the port number is common that is 9004 now here we will open our tableau okay and we will go to help section we will go to settings and performance settings and performance guys okay then we are going to do manage external services service connections we'll open that and over here we will select tab by server local host and 9004 is my port i'll test the connection successfully connected i'll click ok and i'll close it we have done three things so far we have connected we have launched anaconda then cmd.exe we have started the tab by server and then we have tested the connection we are going to see again before we get started here is what you need okay so the first thing is you need a tableau desktop this is where you will create your dashboards okay then the second part is tap by server you need tap by server to get the api responses then we have the third thing that is api access you need an api access okay just having the url does not work you need to have the authentication accesses for that api to be working okay we have used an open source api which and the fourth point is basic knowledge of python you need to have at least some knowledge of python to do an api connection with your tableau desktop so now here you can see on the screen here i have country is equals to united states i am keeping the countries aside to get the response here the url is kept as a separate one then response is equals to request dot get and then url so this url will be held over here then response will be generated once the response will be generated we are converting that response into json response and then again we are storing it into response okay that is how we are doing if we are not using this that is also fine okay we can just simply do that and we will get the output okay as a result okay now we have done this as a first part now the second part is my requirement part there there 
I want to get the details of a capital of a particular country. So let's suppose if I wanted to get the capital of this country, then over here I will be writing country underscore info is equals to response zero. And then I'll be writing capital. If I want to get the area, I'll be writing area. I'll just put comment over here and I'll just execute this area part. Okay. If I execute, just give me a second. So see, uh, spaces are very important. If you're giving space, it is going to consider it a different block. So mind with the spaces. Okay. So this is how you are going to get the area. If I want to get the sub region, I'll just comment out my area and I'll get the details of my sub region. Okay. So this is how we can do it. Now I am going to copy this whole text and I'm going to paste it in my tableau calculated field where I will I'm going to paste the information. But before that, I'm going to create write a script. So script underscore uh, str and inside it, I will be writing into the double quotes where I will be writing the text which we have just seen into the Python which was working fine. So we are going to paste that I'm not going to change anything just a little bit things which I have done that is I have created argument over here country and I am going to return a capital over here. Okay, if you can see and now I am going to change it because double quotes are already used inside it. So I'll be using single quotes over here. And then over here, if you see, I have highlighted it a underscore ARG one, which is going to be argument which is going to be passed externally. Okay, I'm going to pass that country name outside of that particular script. So for that I am using I'm going to use ATTR function that is and it is going to return the capital of that particular country. So whatever country I will I'm going to select it is going to give me result for that particular country. So I will put a sub comma as a separator and then I am going to add the value so selected country I'll say selected country and I'll say ATTR attribute function over here and I'll click OK and once I click OK you can see that capital is now available so if I select over here you can see that Washington DC selected because United States is over there so this is how you can connect api with your tableau and you will get the response on your tableau server to get a dashboard live with the data which is going to be coming from the apis okay you can validate those responses on to the tableau screen jupyter notebook and then you can copy paste the same code inside it and then you can get the results okay on this note if you like the video please do subscribe and hit that bell icon so that you stay ahead and stay updated with the latest news and latest updates if you have any questions any queries or any doubts regarding the topic which we have covered you can write me a comment and we are going to discuss it into our upcoming sessions all right that's all thank you